Introduction to JavaScript. Welcome back. Last module, we learned how to draw circles, then how to arrange them in a specific formation. This module, we're going to learn how to draw lots of those formations, each as easy as drawing a circle is now. To do that, we'll have to learn how to use functions. Just like last time, we learned how to learn how to use variables and operators in order to achieve our goals. Let's explain this function with an analogy. Variables, you remember, are a way of storing a value. They're like a pointer to a value, so that x, when we ask what x is, we know, oh, it's 100. Functions in JavaScript are essentially a new type of variable, but instead of storing simply a value, if right after the equal sign you put the word keyword function, then what it does is it stores a set of instructions so that when you call main, what you're really doing is calling for the computer to execute a set of instructions. In this case, drawing a circle. There are a few slight differences in how they're used, of course. For example, if we store a function in main, then we ask what main is, it tells us that it's a function. In this case, main is exa acting exactly like a variable. It's just storing what comes after the equal signs. If we want it to actually execute what's inside the function, we have to include some parentheses right afterwards. And then it returns four. You remember that in last module, I told you that everything inside these curly braces in main would be executed. Using what we know now about functions, that implies that somewhere we're calling main with parentheses right afterward. And, sure enough, it's right here. Let's make our own function now. We'll call it draw v because that's what we want it to do. Then, we'll set up the shell of a function. You have to put the word function followed by parentheses and followed by a set of curly braces. In between the curly braces, we'll want to put all the instructions that are required for drawing a V. So what we're going to do is cut the instructions for drawing a V from main and put them into draw V. If we ran the program now, the V wouldn't show up because we're not calling draw V. So let's go ahead and put a call to draw V, with parentheses of course, into the function main. Then when we hit run, it will show the V just as before. This episode was pretty long, and it might not look like functions are that powerful yet. However, not only is the next lesson shorter, but it unlocks the first layer of function's true power. In the meantime, what I want you to do is go to this JS fiddle and make a function that draws an L. I'll see you next time.